Welcome to Moshi Monsters Moshling Zoo for the Nintendo DS, and for starters, I have to admit, I misread the title of this game. I thought it was Moshi Monsters Mosh Pit Zoo, and the object was to collect monsters and then play Nirvana really loud and mosh because they have no rhythm. But no, that's not the object of this game. The object is to collect monsters and then feed them, and quiz them, and care for them. Very different from throwing them into a mosh pit. Or a blender. Hey look, it's a unicorn! But you can't just add it to your collection, even though this is published by Activision. It's not one of the Cabela's games. You have to solve puzzles and lure the monster into your collection. Tricking them. Deceiving them. Lying to the monsters. Oh, they think they're going to get pudding with sprinkles on top, but they're not. They're going to get a cage. After searching high and low, I found this bird's encyclopedias or something, and now it's willing to join my zoo. Where it will have a safe, happy existence, there will be no experimenting. None. <laughs> None whatsoever. Rage virus? What's that? You search these candy drop, bubblegum kind of landscapes and find the monsters, but each of them will require something different to lure them into your zoo. You'll collect diamonds along the way that you can use to buy accessories. You'll need to fix things here and there, like a hammock, rocking chair, or you'll have to get some food and entice the monsters to join your collection. Coolio, what's up? Here's an example where I found a cute, adorable moshling hiding in the shrubberies. But in order to coerce it into my laboratory, I mean zoo, I have to fix its hammock. According to the packaging, there's 52 wild and wacky moshlings to collect. And then you can visit them in captivity and play with them or clean them or feed them junk food until they explode. Here's the feeding portion of the game where the moshlings will place an order and then it's up to you to assemble the bizarre food-like substance and feed it to them. Say, the moshlings keep disappearing but more food keeps arriving. How's that work? Is that a green brick of food-like subs? Wait a second. Soylent Green is Moshling! There's also a cleaning mini-game, and you can go through the entire game show where you compete against other Moshlings. This is obviously a game aimed at a younger audience. I'm slightly out of the demographic for this one. And I'm not entirely sure I understand this game, to be honest. It's a combination of a monster collection game and a puzzle game. But once you've collected all these monsters, it's really unclear what you're supposed to do with them. You uh, keep them in captivity, you force them to go through races and solve math quizzes. That's even low by Roman standards. I think your objective is to eventually get all 52 and then breed them into a super moshling that takes over the world. What's for lunch? It's Thursday. Why is it always green on Thursday? And where did the ponies go? It's Moshi Monsters Moshling Mosh Pit Moshing Zoo. If you're looking for a quirky kids game for the DS, I'll really recommend Activision's own Wappy Dog over this one. Light up plastic dog that barks at you? Awesome! Moshlings... Is it Thursday? Secret instructions. Feed the pony magic sparkles and fairy dust. Nobody loves an underfed pony.